the river came in very quickly, very turbulent. We just ripped everything right out. From our house on the side, down four feet, also my neighbors. This was the main stream for the river to come down on the road back behind me. That's where it did its main, main damage. The people were just, you know, they could snuck and hit us. There's no way. And then before you know it, there was a river just flowing. We've seen all kinds of stuff going by. We got about five and a half feet of water in our basement. Yeah. Uh, so it pretty much destroyed most of our furniture and most of our possessions in the basement. Yeah. And you lived here 27 years. Uh, this April, we just celebrated our 27th anniversary. We saw the house and knew we couldn't do anything with it. We were just kind of taking what we could out of it and thinking it would get bulldozed or didn't know what to do, actually. You don't know what to do. It was a rough ride. Uh, one minute you're up because you want to get back into your home and the next minute you look at the devastation and you look at the work ahead of you and it really brings you down. Everything's a blur right now almost. It's hard to remember what happened an hour ago. I've been through so much. A lot of people were, were really affected by it. Not just people that were in the floods but everybody else because a lot of them were our family and you know we had to, we felt for them and, we have to find places for them to stay. Yeah, I think that this area um, in High River is probably the worst that we've seen in the entire time that we've been here. Um, you know, I've been here assessing and uh, also mudding out and gutting houses. And uh, just the water levels, it's been three weeks, I guess a little over a month since people were even able to get into the homes on the street. And, and uh, it's just a, a horrible mess and terrible to see uh, what these people have had to go through. I lost a lot of our Bibles, supplies, our Sunday school, you know, like, um, stuff that was given to us because we have a little church we run. Jim and I are having our 50th wedding anniversary in August and we've got lots of memories that went down the drain. But we're safe. They've seen it always happened to others when they've watched through Samaritan's Purse of what they've done all over the world and it was such a shock when it happened to them. The houses they had about three, three inches of mud in them, sludge, and they were, everything was totaled in the basement. Everything, there was like nothing salvageable. The next day I began seeing the orange shirts of yep. Samaritan's Purse. Yep. So we have about 20 volunteers in this particular house, on the main level and on the basement. The work is extremely dynamic from taking out mud from the basement, from taking out water, to removing the air ducts, and all the drywall that's been compromised by the rise flood waters. We're very thankful you're here, that's for sure, because Jim and I now are older, and there's no way we could deal with that. And that's the way with a lot of people in this area. The house we were at today is a very sad situation. We actually got in, got to go to a house that was the first time the house was entered in four weeks since the flood began. So we're hoping that we can just play a part in helping restore their home and that they can live their lives here. Samaritan's Purse is organized, they're on it, they use their resources wisely, whether it be volunteers or donations itself, of either equipment or monetary funds. Now, what we're hearing that touched people's heart in the midst of all this flood, all this devastation and disaster is a showing up the Rapid Response Team and Samaritan's Purse. And they say if there's one thing that has given them hope is seeing the people just come on board and just get at it and just get active and get helping. And when we walk away, that there's people who are gonna be praying for them. And I think that has made a huge impact on these people going through such devastating times. Like Samaritan Purse, uh... How many people in the world actually just come out and do that for you? It's, uh, it's, it's almost unheard of. I'd be dead in the water without you guys, it's the truth of the matter. The number of people that have been through our house has been dozens of people working like, like beavers the entire time. Everybody cheerful, everybody happy, everybody wishing us the best. I have no idea how we have gotten to this stage without Samaritan's Purse. It's just, it's just been fantastic. My son and my daughter-in-law and I were only one working here and we were, we were told that you guys were going to come and I wasn't expecting so many. I thought I was only going to see like five or six here 
And I thank God that all you guys are here helping us go up. Makes the load lighter for us. Samaritan Purse has brought tremendous hope, mm -hmm. if I may just say so. Uh, and they are really a channel for us as chaplains to uh, look at the emotional, spiritual. And we do find uh, that uh, even amongst the Samaritan First volunteers, though, there are those, especially moms, mm -hmm. when they see all their really the children hard. items, they find it rather emotional. I saw the work that Samaritan's First was doing there. We're so impressed with it that I knew that uh, I wanted to be able to get involved with what they were doing. They did such a wonderful job, not only taking care of the physical needs of people, but their emotional and spiritual needs and following up. It's like I have never seen such hard workers, kind, laughing, fun. This organization is on the front lines right away, more than any organization I've ever seen. They're in there helping. It's not like they're wanting, oh, pats on the back. They're just caring about people. And you volunteers, I'm telling you guys, you're angels from heaven, you really are. And you guys have saved my life. And I don't know how I could ever repay you for what you've done for me. It's just mind boggling. They're very gracious, very compassionate, and asking if they can pray with you. And I mean, that's great. And it makes my job a lot easier when there's volunteers that are not only capable of doing the work, but are ready emotionally to stand beside people that need that support to take 10 minutes away from lifting heavy things and just realizing that this is an opportunity to share Jesus' love. It was very uplifting to, to have the chaplains and the entire crew that came out here from Samaritan's Purse gather and have a uh, prayer about what's happened and to help not just myself, but all of High River. When you're giving your money to Samaritan's Purse, you are giving to a great organization that has a great reputation. We love working with Samaritan's Purse, supporting them financially. We love everything that they stand for. The support that you've given to me emotionally has been wonderful, and you people are angels. I really, truly don't know what I would have done without you.